Miguel Sanchez. Um, and I'll go ahead and get started my virtual tour. Uh, I would like to start first by, um, by making a question of um, what is architecture? At least what is architecture to me, personally? Um, but before I, um, I elaborate on that, I would have to say that architecture, um, for me, it's about the five senses that uh, us as a human being possess. Now, before I continue on that, uh, on that note, um, I chose the 1111 uh, building, not because a lot of people are doing it, but because um, I have documented the building uh, like two years ago. And the reason why I did this is because I love the use of concrete, metal, and glass all together. And Herzog and the mural have this ability to to combine these elements in such a beautiful way that it really caught my attention to, to visit the project and, and, and show it to you guys today. Um, now, going back to the five senses, one of the first things that, um, that blew my mind is when you first walk into the building and you look up, which is one of the, the main things that almost everyone does when they walk in there, so I just couldn't help it to photogra photograph and document that, as well as um, not only that, but the different textures that the concrete um, show you and, and, and give you as the viewer, and also as an architecture student, um, for me personally, I cannot help it to when I visit a beautiful project and I get to touch the wall or even smell uh, the materials as I walk in, and also the composition and, and the different mixtures of light. In this case, you see the, what I was going back and saying, on the, on the ability of these architects of mixing um, concrete with um, light and also some wood. That's a stair. Um, this is an alchemist. This is a store on the fifth floor of the parking lot. And then again, you see the different elements being used uh, with some, some cables, um, glass, metal, and concrete again. Now, from this point on, um, one of the main reasons why I love this project also is because the, the complex geometry that it has, even though it's a little simple, but it has a beautiful uh, attractions. You can see how they, they relate from different views. It almost seems like the same expression was repeated over and over. Now, along with, uh, with this project of Herzog and the Mirror, I am fascinated also with the architecture of Talao Mando. And this is one of my favorite projects that he did, it's called Church of the Light. And the reason why I like this is because, again, he, he's also fascinated with the, um, with the ability of using concrete, um, light, and, and wood. And he's the type of architect that he, he mixes all these elements in such a simple but beautiful way. Again, you can see all the details. Now, for these guys, it's, um, I personally think that for them not to have complex uh, geometry or details in their in their project is almost like an insult because they just do it. And you can see how the light changes and enters into space as the day goes on. So this is another detail of the space. Now before, um, going back to the five senses that I mentioned before, uh, this is an expression from the 1111 on your, on your left. And uh, this is from the church. And the reason why I personally feel that, that architecture to me is about the five senses is because of the ability that I, what I feel when I'm walking through space and how these architects have been able to transmit this to me. 